I got a question for you. Yes, sir. What would you say? You know, do you know what Easy Off is? The what? Easy Off. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? I, I, uh, it's an oven cleaner, right? It's an oven cleaner, right? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it may not necessarily be just an oven cleaner. Nope. Life saver. <laughs> Let's get into this story uh, yeah. of driver that sent us this story about using Easy Off to yeah. stop the carjacking. Yourself. Yeah, and to defend, defend herself herself. And, and the passenger. Absolutely. So, you know, this uh, lady was on our female town hall about, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago. Um, am I going to give up her name? But she knows who she is. And you probably know if you guys watch it. So she sent me this. And this was like two days ago. And I was like, I have to put this in. Uh, you know, this also proves other, other point regarding display, right? Obviously. Um, so Sergio, well, I might have to seek an endorsement deal <laughs> with Easy Off. She's trying to make light of it. <laughs> The reason for that is uh, last night, Easy Off saved the day. I say that jokingly, but what happened was very serious. And if it was not for the oven cleaner, I could have been much, it could have been much worse or I could have been much worse. About 8.45 p.m. last night, I went to a very family-friendly hotel, which is an adjoining restaurant and bar that has live music. And it's a very popular place for both locals and visitors. I was going to pick up a customer when I pulled into the parking lot. I saw a young lady to the right of the entrance of the parking garage structure for maintenance vehicles, which also includes a stairwell that leads from lead leads from the restaurant. So as to as the roadway curves around there, there's a little drive area. I pulled into the pick up the young lady. As I pulled up, she was standing there alone. There were many people walking down from the restaurant being smart. She went to check my tag exactly before entering the vehicle. I can appreciate that. She was very vigilant. Absolutely. Every passenger should do that. Most of the people from the walkway were still coming through as she got into the back seat. I started to put the car in gear, at which point my doors would automatically lock. Before I could get the gear shifter moved, to the, moved the front passenger door swung open and a bearded man just started to reach across towards my phone. I was kind of confused, thinking maybe he was with this young lady I had just picked up. And quite honestly, I thought it was the repo man as I was late on my car payment. He then started to grab my arm. He was screaming, give me your effing phone, give me your effing keys. I moved my hands towards the middle of my console. I keep a small crowbar and the oven cleaner there. So with that in mind... I, with that in mind, I first intentionally went to grab my weapon and she's packing. She's in Florida. Good for her and my weapon. But I noticed his eyes watching my hands. And then he came at me more aggressively, grabbing my hair, screaming crazy stuff at this point. Now, this is as scary as it gets. The passenger was still in the back seat at this point, other than trying to protect her and myself. We both realized um, this was turning into a carjacking. And then created, I then created a distance by opening my door, jumping out with the can of Easy Off in my hand while approaching, while uh, spraying towards his face. I just started screaming as people were walking by. A few people ignored me. I was screaming for help, screaming help robbery. Thankfully, by God's grace, a restaurant manager heard the commotion and came running down the stairs with a group of people. At this point, the guy got out of, the, out of the, my car started running down the street a chase ensued but this man was a ghost so the police were called unknown to me the lady in the back seat had a small blade that she actually cut the man with cut him with leaving droplets of blood on my seat along with multiple sets of fingerprints and i'm sure a trip to the emergency room in his future and they don't find him on the streets they should find him at a hospital somewhere don't know what more i could have done in this situation it happened so quickly that I truly believe any other choice of weaponry would have caused more damage to myself and the passenger. This guy was super strong. I'm pretty sore today. I'm done with ride chair for now. The incident probably had nothing to do with me driving an Uber. But either way, if I don't interact with people, then my worries will be less. I believe I did everything right. It was crazy. It all happened so fast. I was shook. Today, it's actually hitting me a little bit more because the adrenaline kicked in last night, overriding my fears. I always try to see the positive. So with that being said, easy off might have been a joke that day on the show with the ladies town hall, but I've always kept it and never had to use it till last night. And it truly saved me. So I'm telling you guys, get some easy off and be safe. So um, 
well, I'm going to give her a name. I'm not going to give her a name, but, you know, uh, we are glad you're okay. We are glad it all turned mm -hmm. out okay. And, you know, she did say that during the um, town hall, and we all laughed. I'm like, come on. We said, you know, what is easy yeah. off going to do? Well, easy sure off. There you go. Did the job. <laughs> Yeah, and it goes to show you that, uh, um, you know, you can use anything if you need to as a deterrent, um, but always be vigilant, always be paying attention to what's going on. And uh, luckily, people heard and actually came, unfortunately, the people that ignored. Uh, that is a, a, an unfortunate thing in today's society where people are just ignoring what's going on right, right in front of them. Um, you know, fear of safety, fear of whatever. Uh, but either way, uh, glad that she's okay. Glad that the easy off did what it might not be prescribed to do, but at yeah. least uh, was a deterrent in that situation. And, um, you know, one of the other things uh, as as we were going through, she said that it could have been the repo man. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, that could be for, good for wallet. And like, you could go in there and get your, uh, you know, yeah. your car payment. And then you don't have that, that, that stress. You can stretch it yeah. out over the time. But um, yeah. the easy off aspect of it, it's like, yeah, you want to make sure you have something on hand in the event something happens. And you want to make sure that, you know, you, you, you have it really somewhere that's going to be easy to get in the event something happens. So, you know, yeah. if you have something in, in your door, uh, right on the side of the door or next to your car seat, if you have like one of those little uh, pouches that you can put something in um, or in, you know, the, the center console, whatever it might be, um, just make sure you have things there just in case. Uh, wasp net spray is better for distance. Yes, it is. You'll get, what, 15 feet or so on one of those things. So can really uh mess with people um so yeah there, there's some things there um the, the the whole other thing though is the the passenger who had the the, the knife the guy and, with, yeah, up yeah. Yeah. holy crap um i mean, I mean look man you know this is the, i mean this very scary situation obviously and you know i know her personally obviously um and she's uh not a big woman i mean she's skinny and you know i mean she's in good shape but you know, fighting a maniac who was probably on some sort of drugs, right? I mean, who knows what the heck was going on mm -hmm. there? It, you know, it, it's got, you know, thank God it all turned out okay. And, you know, this is when you guys need what, Chris? They need a dash cam, bro. I'm telling you, I am just, I cannot speak enough of this. And, you know, look, I have one and, and it's the best 20 bucks I'm spending a month, even when I'm doing deliveries now or only deliveries. I'm, you know what I'm doing now, Chris? You know, I'm hmm. parking in most people's driveways. Like, if it's drop at the door or meet at the door, I have to get out of my car. This is my safety zone. You know what I'm saying? So now, yeah. a lot of the homes in my neighborhood have driveways. So if I see an opening in the driveway, I'm parking in an angle that my dash cam is recording me going to the door. You know what I'm saying? So if it doesn't, you know, obviously, it, I don't have a choice but do what I need to do. But anytime I see a driveway, bro, I'm just pulling in angling the car to the front door where i'm gonna go it's recording me going all the way there and coming back and uh i mean uh, this is a no-brainer to me yeah definitely yeah and we again we, we bring up this all the time uh we have another safety story that we're going to be talking about in just a minute yeah. uh but this this is definitely something that dash cameras are going to be good for too because it's going to record everything that's happening it could be potential deterrence as well in the yep. situation that this driver that we just highlighted uh, whether that was a deterrent or not, who knows. But in the event that it wasn't a deterrent and things still continued as is, you're going to have that entire interaction on the dash camera that's uploaded to the cloud immediately. Yep. And again, with uh, how awesome uh, our friends over at Splayride, they are giving us that 20% off with the RSG code. So RSG20 gets you 20% off. So instead of 25 bucks a month, it's 20 bucks a month. And that's going to save you... Uh, uh some money but it's also going to give you a lot of peace of mind and you can use it as a tax write-off so yep. make sure you get no that doubt. if you haven't already we have a link in the description uh and again use rsg20 so you get that 20 percent discount um not only that hey sergio there, there's one thing that you didn't know um that may be happening and we'll, we'll highlight it here even for for our audience um you know one of the things that i've been talking about with abdul was a body camera so there may be a body camera coming in the near future. Um, it's something that I had recommended I, uh, um, already and Sergio had talked about as well. Um, I think it'll be the best thing that they could do because that covers everybody now. The drivers, delivery drivers, last mile drivers, ride share obviously have the you know dash cam. I, I think that would be just it'd be the next level. You know what I'm saying? It'll put this company mm -hmm. above and beyond anybody because 
I, you know, we know about it. I mean, we talked about it uh, a couple of weeks ago with the Miami driver, right? Delivery driver. They got pulled away in the house and butchered yep. them, right? So more stuff is happening to delivery drivers as much as, you know, it used to be only for ride share. Not anymore. You know, there mm -hmm. are crazy people out there, man. So I think that'll be an amazing idea. I think we just need to push as hard as we can to make that happen, man. Yeah, that would be a great. And we'll keep you posted, uh, everybody, if that does happen. Uh, I was talking with Abdul uh, and... It seems like he's going to be looking into it. Uh, yeah. So it could be a very real possibility coming soon. Um, so we will let you know. Uh, yes, William, death penalty is what they're looking for for that particular uh, sociopath who um, decided to off our good yeah. Uber brother out there. Um, so hopefully um, we'll see the justice that's deserved, but that's up to a court of law and a trial by jury. So we'll see what ends up happening there. Yeah. All right, let's go into our next story of uh, another letter that came to us. Um, this yeah, time this was Cleveland. Uh, in, from Cleveland. And Sergio, this Saturday I was driving for Uber around 10.40, 10.45 p.m. in Cleveland, Ohio, on a major road, Lee Road and Cleveland Heights. So I'm sure whoever is in the chat knows that area. While I was driving an Uber passenger to my destination, someone fired a few BB pellets at my car. While driving, it sounded like real shots when they hit the glass and doors. Customers, as well as I, freaked out. Then pulled out to the side of the road to see the damage. There was some, but nothing major. Called the police to report it, then called Uber safety number. Dropped off the passenger, continued to drive, where after 10 minutes, they shut down my account that I needed to send them pictures of the car just to make sure that I still qualified to drive for Uber. What? Fuck. Anyway, not a single call or no app messages asking if the rider or I were okay. Not a single person asked if there were any injuries. They only care about my car and protected themselves on future trips and liability probably. Okay. So this is, this, you know, back and forth with Uber chat. Literally, and I read it, and there's nothing that says here that, hey, how are you doing, safety, whatever. All they did was suspend his account to make sure that the car is drivable, Chris. I mean, mm -hmm. what the F, okay? And I'm like, what? <laughs> that could be the least of your worries if the car is drivable or not. I mean, this guy just know, made right. a safety report, man. I don't know. Yeah, so it, it comes down to, is the safety functionality in Uber actually what we expected? I mean, we, we talked about that, what, a couple of weeks ago uh, with the 911 button and how it wasn't working as it had intended. Um, and this is just kind of the same exact thing. You know, you have yeah. something where it's a... a true health or, or true safety issue and they're they're only caring about shutting down the person's account and making sure the car is okay in order for them to even get back on the platform yeah. you know and then, who and then, knows you know, if that driver's you... even gonna go back on the platform yeah but does do you think he wants to go back after he got shot by a bb or whatever it's a scary moment obviously and then now he has to get there and get up upload his pictures of the car as if he was in a crash which he wasn't but Uber is making sure that, you know, the car is okay, it's drivable. So, like, get him back out on the road. I'm like, come on, bro. And this is what Uber support sent the guy. And, you know, the yep. conversation goes back and forth. We don't need to get into the details of that. But they said, yeah, just make sure you take uh, pictures of your car, front, side, back. You know, then we can put you back on the platform. I mean, didn't even ask the guy. It's like, are you okay, first of all, sir? Or do you even want to drive at least maybe for a couple of days because you shook up anyway? And to me, it's like, this is the, this is the you know, days times we live in ai and and insensitivity and robots and all this stuff running i'm pretty sure a human did not de decide to do that at uber you know i'm sure it was some ai bot said oh well this is the procedure we're going to do if somebody says oh, i got shot at i'm just going to send them you know to take pictures of their cars so to see if the car is okay to drive i'm like yeah this is where we are in this world and i guess yeah. this is the only way you can do 2.1 billion trips in a quarter you know all right thanks for watching that short little clip was from our live stream show me the money club with sergio and myself tuesdays 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific make sure you subscribe turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live as well as all of our awesome content make sure to check out this video right here which will take you to the entire live stream or check out this video right there all right drive smart everyone